so you see the headquarters of the X City in Johnsonville. Uh, those of you wanting to build your houses, uh, probably uh, you want a residential area. Part of the thing that people have been crying on is that they say, oh, Liberia, no residential area. Everywhere you go, probably you got your own, you know, your nice house. Somebody around you got zero. Or oh, the president got a club. The president's making noise. You don't have enough space. Exodus is trying to make that changes. But anyway, let's go back. We're talking about what Exodus is doing. Let me go back to the CEO and then he's going to be telling me more as to what they are doing. I see them opening somewhere out there. Let's go there. Container that is half full, that means the lower half in here you put a back wall with solar panels. Okay. Each of these panels is a residential panel, and panel 50 watt each, and top quality panel. And these are the panels that will be doing a residential installation on behalf of our clients. So, say you have a home like the question you asked previously mm. and you want us to install this solar panels for you what we will do is that we will build a smaller canopy than this right and a shorter one this is industrial and commercial but it's too tall right mm. we will build something that you can sit down on them right spend your cool evening have your guests in your yard that's what we will do we don't do rooftop installation especially if your roof is like zinc on um, these metal sheets. The reason is because mm. I don't want to install and do the top quality work that we do. And when we leave, your roof starts to leak. You won't remember me for the good quality work I did, right? You'll remember me for some carpenter that did some crappy work, right? Mm. That your roof can maybe even take the weight of these panels. And then you just remember me for that. So we don't do installation over your zinc roof. If you have like a concrete flat top roof, you want us to build a canopy on top of it, we will do that. If you have a yard like what we did here, we build a big canopy like a palaver hut or a square pergola where you can sit on the leaf, you know, invite friends to your barbecue and stuff. We can do that for you. These are the solar panels for that. We also have on the top there, we have some water pumps. Like if you want us to install your like 110 volt water pumps, we do that. They have floaters to detect when your tank is full. They stop automatically, and if the tank, you know, falls to a certain level, it pumps water automatically. Those are the things that we do. Everything about renewable energy, right? About powering your homes and things like that. So we offer those services. We also have some institutional clients that want to build like large systems, right? Mm -hmm. And those are our main clients actually. But because I want to encourage and nudge people more and more towards solar. I decided to step into the residential solar installation just because there are a lot of bad installers in Liberia. That's what I have noticed. So I want to help people not to have a bad taste in their mouth about solar because that reduces the uh, our uptake of solar, right? The solar penetration rate will reduce because people start having bad experiences. So I want to uh, stop some of that where they are right now. So that's why we are getting into the residential Side of All right, so when people want to, like somebody may be interested in contacting, what are the, I mean, means for which, I mean, through which they can get to they you? They can get to us. Oh, yes. Uh, we have our, our, our phone number, local phone number, right? It's 777 909012. So 777 is our local number. You can also reach us on that number via WhatsApp, right? You just have to add the plus 231 code. 777 you can catch us on WhatsApp. You can also shoot us an email at info at xcityafrica.com. Uh, I'm sure uh, those of you on the screen for you to take a look at. Uh, so yeah, those are uh, means that by which you can contact us. We also have a website. You can go to xcityafrica.com and you'll see everything website we have a youtube channel too um uh, is youtube slash and exit uh, so you can find us there uh, so yeah okay so let's talk a little bit about the exit itself i mean exit is what people know you of I mean, yeah. the last time we we're up there people are asking oh how do i mean um in fact some people went behind me right i told you before like they went they took their own time to go and check the site yep. and uh i've been told they are limited site i mean i mean uh spot now those yep. in ghana we say about plot right plot yep. of land yep. Yep. <laughs> so uh yeah. uh let's talk about x city yeah mm -hmm. so x city especially the residential zone mm. that you uh we're talking about right mm. right now we are clearing the site right 
So that means construction begins right after we finish roofing this building, you see. Those are the workers, those are the construction workers. So we sourced the best artisanal builders from West Africa and brought them in specifically to build the quality homes that we want our people to have in Exeter, right? So that construction work begins right after we finish this work and the clearing that is ongoing finishes. That's when we're going to lay out the map, right? Zone everything in the residential zone, separate out the streets from the uh, landscape. We already know the geo coordinates of each of those. So that is the state of things right now in Exeter. But people should reach out. You said it rightly. The space available is limited and is running out, right? We have a lot of people now who have interest in Exeter. Uh, the steam is picking up. Uh, so people are reaching out every day, every minute. So, yeah. If you are interested in owning a home in a well laid out community where you have your water, you have your electricity coming directly from solar power systems, uh, Exit is the place for you. You want to live in an organized area where your neighbor won't be building the toilet on the alleyway, right? Your neighbor won't be making noise next door to you, maybe by turning his home into like a church or a mosque or something where they would generate a huge amount of noise, right? So we obey the zoning laws and they won't turn their house into like a big marketplace where people are just buying and selling, right? So that is why Exit is laid out following some of the modern urban design principles, right? Residential zone is residential zone only. The commercial zone is commercial zone. The industrial zone is industrial zone. Healthcare, educational zones, they are all exclusive to those particular functions. This is a very good uh, dream. And um, if I want to own a property in the It's Exeter, a reality much, now, yeah, not just I mean, a dream. I mean, like some, for some people, uh -huh. if I want to own a property, then how much does it cost for me to get a plot of land? Yeah, so that's a great question. So right now in Exeter, the plot of land, which is a lot of land, mm -hmm. is $3,000. And so if you take that and the maximum amount of land that you can buy as a residential, uh, as a resident of Exit in the residential zone is two acres of land. We can sell more than two acres to one individual. We want more people to have. And the two acre, the reason why we stop it at two acres, mm -hmm. actually uh, zoom in here to see how these blocks are laid out, right? Okay. So you see, consider one of these concrete blocks, right? This slab as a two acre block in Exit. Everything around it is streets. Okay. So that is how the system, the, the residential zone is laid out in Exit. So you can only buy one two acre block if you want to buy the whole two acre block. And that means all of your neighbors are across the street from you. So I'm standing on one two acre block right now. All of my neighbors are people across the street from me. That is a two acre block. You can buy one plot. For example, one lot will be like here. This one lot, you still have streets. Any one lot will have streets. That's how Exit is designed. So you have streets, it is well laid out. You can buy uh, only a lot, in increments of a lot to two acres. In terms of uh, building design, is there special design for people owning property in? Because somebody will say, you know, uh, you know, I like brand maintain, you see? But I ain't pay my money, I don't want to buy my land. Exactly. So why you come and tell me what I would do? So, like, is there special design? Yes, there are restrictions on what can be built in the Exit. Mm -hmm. One, is that we offer some designs that you can select from, or you can bring your own design that we need to review and approve of, both in terms of the aesthetics of the design and the structural uh, engineering quality of the design, right? They have to meet those criteria. Then the third thing I need to let you know is that we don't let you build your own home, exactly for that reason, right? People will say, oh, I've been buying my land, I can build anything I want to build. I can even build zinc shacks alongside, next door to your beautiful home, right? Which reduces the quality and value of your and we don't want that, right? So Exit Engineering Solutions will build all of the homes in the residential zone on your behalf. And you can come with your custom design. Once we review and approve it, we build it for you. Or we build any of the custom designs that we already have created that you can select from, but we will do the build. All right, any other thing you want to say to Librarian before we take leave of you? Yeah, I think uh, one of the things that I keep hearing is that some librarians are skeptical until they want to see some foundation of the yeah. building coming up. Listen, let me tell you, I get that, and I'm sympathetic towards people who have that thought because a lot of librarians have been deceived, right? People have done a lot of false things, like pretentious things, and so basically just pay for money from librarians, right? But I also want you to be aware that that's a risk you are taking. The moment we started clearing the site, the sales volume increased. I didn't even do much advertisement. 
right? The sales volume just increased because people wanted to see something happen, right? I can tell you, by the time we start digging the foundation, maybe two, three weeks from now, you might not have a land space there. I'm telling you because I know the sales rate and I know the quantity of land reserved for residential community. And once that residential community land is, is, is basically um, completely taken, I'm not going to put anyone, no matter how much money you offer, in, for example, the commercial zone, just because you have a lot of money. It's not going to happen. So that's just my uh, advice to people, right? Uh, try to do your research, background investigation on me personally and on exiting our journey. Go to our YouTube videos. We don't hide anything, right? Our ups and downs are out there in the open for people to uh, basically see what we are about. So oh. make a decision quickly before you regret it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so guys, those of you who have been in my inbox asking about the exit, what's going on, you've heard it all. Uh, right after this building is completed, and then, uh, you know, officially open to you guys to come and have business, then the construction work will begin at the exit on the Ralphie Highway, just a ten, it's about 10 minute drive away from the Robert International Airport. And uh, I mean, it's a residential area and also have industrial area. So what you need to do is, you see on your screen, the exit.com, go there, uh, Make your research and then reach out. To get a plot of land is only three thousand uh, United States dollars, which is going to give you a residential area. You don't want to be in a place where uh, somebody will say, "Oh, I'm a land for one zero house here." In the meantime, no. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you got more information, please check the description box of this video and all of the numbers that have been provided on the screen for you to be able to reach out to the exit. Keep watching. This is the counter diary. We're telling you the untold stories by country Liberia. Bye bye for mine.